Well, hello. How are we? Happy New Year. Uh, oh, what's the day? Oh, 7th. Well, anyway, I hope you had a good New Year anyway, and perhaps managed to lose some of the extra pounds you put on over Christmas, etc. Uh, I know I certainly did. I need my cheekbones back in 4K, please. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Anyway, I uh, hope you're all well. I've got a couple of announcements to make. On uh, Saturday the 27th of January, it will be, I believe it's 79 years since Outswitch was discovered. And I've written a poem called Outswitch to Birkenhow. I'm going to be premiering that on Saturday the 27th of January to mark that anniversary. And uh, so there probably won't be a video on that Sunday. Um, on Sunday, March the 24th, uh, also will be the year anniversary since the tornado hit Rolling Fork in the United States and I've, one of my country songs off my album The Road to LA uh, is commemorating that and is obviously dedicated to the residents of Rolling Fork so I shall be premiering that on uh, March the 24th which happily is a Sunday so fantastic. Anyway so today is um, Tales of a Script I'm going to get straight into it. This is this is my about my third take. I keep waffling, so I'm, I'm trying to shorten it down for you. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what am I saying? So first of all, I've finished the, the script uh, for Henchman. It's I haven't done the final draft, but it's finished. It needs it just needs a polish. Uh, but I've taken the novel approach of put, putting it aside and plowing straight into the next one. So uh, the next one uh, out of my short story collection, Victorian Adventure Stories, uh, is a combination of two stories, and that's A Hebridean Adventure and A Great Exhibition. Now, uh, this, uh, these are set in obviously the Hebrides uh, and in Kensington, and amongst other things, you'll find out the real reason why Crystal Palace was moved from Hyde Park down to Sydenham. And you'll also find out why the natural history was built where it is. The real reason they chose that location. So I've had great fun um, playing with the history of Kensington, uh, great fun writing this, really excited to bring it to the screen. So I'm currently currently working on that. It, for anyone who does know my work, uh, it's a notable as the debut of Professor James, who's now got his own album out, uh, album. <laughs> Oh, now, Mel, yeah, he's, he's a musician now. Um, it, it's got his own novel out, The First Man to Mars, uh, which is available to buy. And just a quick reminder before I carry on that Victorian Adventure Stories uh, is available through my website for free. You just have to sign up for my newsletter and you will get a free e copy. And Henchman and a great uh, a Hebridean Adventure and a great exhibition of the stories so far that I'm hoping to bring to a TV screen near you. So, okay, so let's get cracking on. What am I trying to say? Uh, in a nutshell, I was the characters, uh, a Hebridean adventure, Professor Giles Lincoln, or Giles, he's trying to persuade Professor James that he's discovered something of note. He's an explorer, he's found a lost island of, of the Hebrides. And I was really struggling with the dialogue between the two. Um, I mean, I know them well because like I've written novels with them both. Giles is in all the stories and the novel. But I was just, you know, is that realistic? Is that plausible? I know them both. Just trying to get that right tone. And then I thought, show, don't tell. I was like, it's TV. It's not a novel. Where a novel, you, you try to put everything in the words rather than, you know, uh, he was angry. You'd put, shut your mouth, you confounded lunatic. You know, ah, oh, okay, the character's angry. So with that in mind, uh, when they get on the island later in the story, they do find a extinct plant species because Giles is a paleobotanist. So I changed that and I brought that forward. And instead, he pulls out a book. And in the book is a leaf of an extinct, extinct plant species that Professor James immediately recognises. And it's like, ah. Oh, Right, yeah, we need to check this out fast. So, to me, that was a that was a real lesson. It's I think it's starting because people tell you you read it, but as you actually do it, it's really starting to sink in about show don't tell. This is TV. It's a different format. You know that people are going to see everything on the screen. You you've got a screen to show people everything as well. So that was a really interesting lesson for me. Um, 
and I just wanted to kind of share that with you and I shall bring some more stuff to you uh, about that as we go on. Now, there is something else I want to say, but I'll save it for another time. Now, the reason why I want to say, save it for another time is uh, we're getting into January and I wanted to run through a few things that I've watched over Christmas. Uh, so I've caught up a lot of film TV and uh, just, yeah, just wanted to mention a few bits, what my particular highlights were. Uh, so uh, Sisu, which I believe is a Swedish film, or is it Finnish? I think it might be Finnish. Ooh, should research that. Sorry, but S I S U is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's uh, an adult film. Uh, it's an action film, World War Two, uh, but it was just real, real uh, pleasure. Um, also, um, Saltburn was fantastic. Really enjoyed it, and I've got to just really point out um, uh, Barry uh, Kieran. He was just phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, I can see that man heading to the Oscars. So I, I would keep an eye on him because yeah, he, he's, he's just brilliant. I mean, I really enjoyed his terrifying performance in, in Top Boy. And I've only just clicked that he played the Joker at the end of Batman. So I'm really excited to see that. Uh, but as a whole, really, really good film. I uh, really enjoyed it. But I think the, the film that really stole the show for me um, uh, overall, uh, uh, I mean, there's many other good stuff, but, you know, uh, was the Super Mario Brothers movie. It was just fan. It was so much fun. It was brilliant. Uh, and, you know, and take note, anyone out there who's making films or TV programs based on, you know, either cartoons or, or toys from the 80s, you know, put the nods in. You know, Super Mario Brothers, that the thing that most impressed me was they just didn't miss anything. Everything was in there, you know, from the Toad, Yoshi, the mushrooms, the pipes, the flowers, you know, uh, um, uh, Raccoon, Mario, Super Mario, just just everything. There's a nod to everything. It was so much fun. Um, you know, I mean, if you'd never see, seen any of the Mario, played any Mario games, you'd still have great fun. But if you did, it was just a real joyous throwback you know and so yes i really like that um also i watched a uh, sly the sly documentary was fantastic uh really really enjoyed that and um uh, anybody in screenwriters or filmmakers out there i'd certainly recommend that and the robbie williams documentary as well really really liked it i, I uh, yeah some really interesting um things there that i didn't know um i was quite enthralled i have to say though um there was a documentary I watched which just blew my mind, uh, and that was uh, RoboDoc. Um, now, RoboDoc is a, a four-part documentary series on the making of RoboCop, and it's by probably by far the best documentary on a film I've ever seen, and in my mind, it really does deserve an Oscar. Now, word of warning, this is on the 1987 version of Robocop uh, so it's very gory very bloody absolutely for adults only um, but it just goes blow by blow by blow and you know as someone interested in in film and tv and getting into that and making that and being part of it as well you know it was just um, he just didn't miss anything he just got all the cast even the extras all the processes you know from the writing the filming production it, it, just everything uh, and so the distribution it was just it was yeah it was just blow by blow you know obviously he's always said that i can't remember the, the gentleman's name but he's always said it was a real passion project and it shows so that was um yeah fantastic and another final piece of news is i went to um because as i talk about getting into film tv uh i had uh an introduction day at rada and absolute time of my life i mean just fantastic you know uh, i mean yeah you, you don't think what goes into acting and it, i mean it was just great fun really enthralling and i mean obviously they i believe they're the leading world experts aren't they so uh yeah that was that was fantastic fun so uh yeah hopefully you'll see me on a screen soon apart from on here <laughs> you never know anyway so um look folks i hope you're really well and um i look forward to speaking to you again uh next week we'll uh, perhaps do some writing stuff again um i'm going to talk through some of my books as well of 2023 we're getting on for 10 minutes so i'll better go but look after yourselves and i'll speak to you soon cheers Bye bye